Hello, I'm Richard Phobes, the bald explorer, out on another walk. And this time, I'm, well, I'm not too sure where I am. I'm going to have to ask the lovely Cynthia, <laughs> Cynthia Julian. Where are we? Hello, everybody. Uh, we're at Coolum and we're at the Blue Idol meeting house. The Blue Idol. It's not a pub, is it? No. No. I haven't seen any evidence of it. No, no. I think that <laughs> the temperance say? side of this would... Uh, I think so. It's yeah. Quaker meeting house is the it's, clue. It's um, William Penn. William Penn bought this and used it as his meeting house when he lived at Warminghurst, just down the road there. We did a video some time ago with Mr Martin Snow oh, looking yeah. at the Warming. Hearst Church yeah, yeah. and we re we talked a little bit about William Penn before he went to Pennsylvania and right. and founded that uh, town city state state yeah absolutely all of it <laughs> but this it sort of all started here didn't it yes I think it did because yeah. he was here in Sussex for 30 years and allegedly wrote the constitution of Pennsylvania while he was here and this is and this the, is where the Quaker meeting the meeting house let's have a look at this and the great news is it's open to the public and you can just turn up and have a look it used to be an old farmhouse um, we've been told a beautiful timber frame building with Horsham stone or Horsham slabs on the roof um, somebody actually lives in the left hand side of it but the original Waker meeting room for the um, Friend, what are they, the Society of Friends? Society of Friends. Yes, yeah. is uh, is here, and it's absolutely resplendent, beautiful on this wonderful sunny day. It just really shows it off. It does. Particularly nice, and uh, we're going to go in and have a little explore. Yeah. And this is new. To, this is only down the road from where you live, it Cynthia, is, isn't, isn't it? It is, Three miles, I think it is. Yeah. And this is the first time you've been well, here. First time I've been here for very, very, very many long years. Time. So I don't want to I'll let that. you go first. Oh, That's it. In we go. Yeah. Yeah. It's their meeting hall, isn't it, where they hold all the services? The, I think. Yes, the meeting hall. Is that and, and and you know clearly it's the timber framing again yeah. on the inside. But um, let me see if I can get a, a shot of the overall meeting hall but uh, it's interesting because um, you, you said mm. when we had a quick recce mm. um, it was not as big as no, you thought no it's nowhere near as big as I thought it was or imagined it to be I mind your be... head on that beam by oh, the way that, yes <laughs> you've already tested those as well yeah um, I've got bruises to prove it <laughs> yeah it, it's really quite what's the word I'd use I suppose small but yeah um, cosy cosy yeah. I imagine a lot of Americans come over. So I'm told. Yeah. A huge to, amount. To, um, particularly from the Pennsylvania area. I believe. Absolutely. Um, there's a there's a little staircase here. I don't know if the um, the Quakers ever gave speeches or things, but there's a raised platform which I'm going to have a little. But uh, they sit in silence or not? That's do all they? Really, yeah. I'm not a, actually a Quaker myself. No. Um, but I really don't know too much about it. You get a good I view. Can learn. Yes, definitely. There's a barn we're going to have a look at in a second that has uh, more of the history in, apparently. But yeah, no, what a a lovely place to come and be quiet and be at one with whatever it is that you believe in. Considering there's we're a, not far from the main road. There's a lovely little little box here for keeping important documents and various things it's not to be too nosy of course come around here and there's a gallery by the looks of things just above up there which presumably other people can come and look down on the proceedings should we have a little look at the barn shall we yeah that would be interesting And according to the sundial here, it's about midday. I don't know if that's British summertime or, or what it is. But uh, let's go and have a look at the barn. It's a lovely little farm in its day. Super. And I think they said it was older, this building, than... Oh, the barn's older than, than the, the house. Than the main one, yeah. Wow. Oh yes, look at the... Uh, yeah, it does look very... The, 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 the timber there it certainly looks a lot older. It does. I don't know what they have in here. We need to have a look. Yes. I think she said there was a bit of a, a history explanation. Oh yes, I can see some boards. I'll let you open the door if that's okay. Yeah. 
and in we go oh wow look at this so you've got all the all the info that you could possibly want about William Penn and Penn in Sussex and the Blue Idol building some lovely old prints on the wall to look at but apart from that the uh, just the timber itself is pretty interesting oh and look there's a newspaper here from 1857 oh, really? the Sunday Express oh, wow. that's on the back of this door oh, wow. good gosh supplement to the Sussex Agricultural Express Surrey Standard something something something, something and County Advertiser good gracious 1857 that's amazing you need uh, pretty good eyesight to see that look at this look I love all this old it's this beautiful oh let's have a look oh yeah there we go pucker wattle and daub the real thing the real thing in fact here you can see some of the the wattle exposed and then the daub yeah. over the top beautiful yeah no love that there is a sign that says mind your head on that one i did see that one did you yeah. i safely through and here i think it's a cast of some description i guess of william, william penn. penn hello mate everything all right no very silent at the moment, having a snooze. He's been gone 300 years. Oh, is he? Yes, sir. I he's going to come back and talk He's been gone future. 300 years. Yeah. This year, I believe. Yeah, 1718 he died. So oh, yes. 300 years. 300 years. Centenary. Centenary. Um, there's another lovely little old window just above here. You reckon that somebody lived in here? I do. I don't know. Well, because of the wattle and doors, it was just animals. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, because why would you? Me, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because people lived very, very basically back then. Absolutely. Very humble existence. Really? And, the, and the number of windows and things, I suppose, yeah, gives you light. Yes, yeah, so I, I feel that. But I there's no, there's no immediate chimney, though, so I didn't quite know what you would do. No, there is that, but then didn't they just maybe like a whole house? just? Oh, like, yeah, have a fire I, on I the don't floor. Know. I have to inquire. Very lovely, humble little little place, which now, of course, would make a great studio for um, the Bald Explorers. Actually, perfect. Wouldn't it be perfect? perfect. It'd be absolutely brilliant. I wonder if they'll give it up. Um, no. No. <laughs> hey ho. That's my gut feeling. Yes, I think you're, I'll go with your gut feeling, actually. can be buried here gosh you can be buried here let's get the last final look of the house then isn't that just magical it is lovely. that is absolutely gorgeous there we go William Penn's Blue Idol Quaker meeting house well Cynthia thank well, you for should. for inviting me yeah you didn't to know take this a look. was here you see I, no now you do so many places I in know, sussex and I around know. that i know that doesn't exist all of us we just yeah. don't know they're there it's they're tucked amazing. away so well worth coming and having a visit ladies and gentlemen so if you get the chance check it out on uh, google look it up I had, best thing it had its own website too yeah yeah until the next time though join me again on another walk somewhere else somewhere other but uh, thanks to cynthia and We'll see you again. Bye for now. Right. Oh yes. Time for a cup of tea.